Hi, I am Prakhar and this is the second video in my AXM series. So in this video, I'll cover uh, database connection with CORM, migrations and entities. And also create a endpoint that will carry out an insert operation just to test out everything. Okay, so I'll be using CORM uh, to connect to database and uh, execute qu queries. Uh, for database I'm using Postgres and uh, I'll use uh, Runtime Tokyo uh, Rust TLS so let's add this to our cargo okay next thing we need is CORM CLI so we'll be creating migrations and entities using uh, uh, CORM CLI so let's install it first I have it already installed but if you encounter any problems then probably you need to upgrade, upgrade your uh, Rust version. Okay let's create uh, migrations now. So this migration folder is like a different workspace. Uh, here we can create our table and all. So I'll create a users table. Uh, I'll just replace every post for with user and now I'll change the columns so we'll need uh, name email password other than those two I'll add uh, UUID and uh, created ad which will be a timestamp also make sure to remove uh, these to do's Let's create columns here as well. Uh, to make email unique, I'll add unique key. So UUID must be unique as well so I'll add unique here as well. Okay so created ad should be uh, date time and it should not be unique. Also I need to uh, make this a uh, small case. Okay so our migration for user is ready. Uh, all we need to do is create an env and uh, define a connection string okay so before that let's go to cargo and uh, uncomment the uh, default runtime and postgres so whatever runtime you're using use the same ones here okay let's create a new env file database underscore URL now uh, the URL should database URL should be your connection string to the database uh, our migrations will also use this connection string to connect to the database so let's go to connection pool uh, in the documentation and copy the structure for the connection string so for protocol uh, we have Postgres username password or uh, treasure treasure in my case uh, but you should put your own username and password uh, host is localhost uh, 5432 and database I haven't created a database till now so I'll just name anything let's say a blog DB okay so our connection string is ready now we need to create a database for this connection string Now I'll select the same user which whose credential I defined in the connection string and now uh, the name of the database which is uh, blockdb. Database is ready. Now we can run our migration and test. CRM uh, CLI migrate fresh removes all the tables in the database if there are any uh, or I should say uh, the tables that are defined in the migration first it remove them if they, if they exist. Uh, and then it creates them okay so migrations was successful and now we should be able 
to see our table here so we have our table there is no data we'll also create a seeder later on but for now uh, our table is here let me copy this uh, connection object here as well uh, we'll use this connection object uh, later on when we when we create a uh, when we insert any entry in the database uh, this is uh, just to show for now but I'll create a method soon so let's remove this question mark uh, we should use unwrap here so we have set up our migrations now we need to create our entities okay so if we go to using crm cli at the bottom we can see uh, this command to create our entities we don't really need to give our connection string as we have provided that in our env so i'll remove this and just press enter now this should create an entity folder same level as migration and that entity folder will have our uh, models basically and we'll be you will be using those entities uh, to insert update or delete one thing i like to add is uh, the database schema uh, by default it's public we don't really need to do this but i like to add this So one of the column we created was UUID. To cr generate a new UUID, we'll need a library or let's say a crate. So this is this UUID crate is one we need. So from this crate, we'll need one feature as well. That is uh, V4. Let's add that. and one last thing we need to do is to add chrono we also created a date time so for that we'll need chrono so cargo add chrono this should be all okay so let's test out our database connection string as well uh, sorry our database connection in uh, our server for that I'll create a method return type should be into response so this method I'll use to create a user basically uh, this is just a testing method for now uh, we won't be taking any user inputs and all uh, so I'll just move the connection string here it will be a get request and I'll try to just demonstrate that this code is working So we need to import uh, our uh, entity so we'll use entity and from entity we need our user uh, currently is giving us error this is probably because we haven't defined our workspace so let's go to the documentation and define a workspace as well in setting up migration you can see uh, they have defined so they have uh, shown how should we define a workspace so I'll just copy these and paste it in my uh, cargo.toml okay now we should create a active model so active models are what we use to insert an object uh, an active model should contain all the field necessary to insert it into the database so I'll just add uh, some basic details 
uh, in future I'll also be using uh, a faker library which will create like fake data for users and everything we need Okay, so all this data uh, also need to be wrapped in set. Okay, if I go to Rust Analyzer, I can see it says that there is some problem in our workspace. It's asking us to check our workspace. Okay, so let me do cargo build so it isn't able to recognize entity uh, that is because we don't have a cargo.toml in our uh, entity folder so all we need to do is create a cargo.toml in entity uh, in previous version of CRM it used to be there automatically whenever I created entity I think there is some problem in this version but no problem we can create that ourselves Okay, now we should be good. Let's wait for a few seconds. We are getting error. That is good. Okay, so we need to first import set. And one other problem with this is uh, UUID. We need to import UUID as well. We need to import UTC as well. Okay, so we don't really need to define ID here so I'll do defaults and one more uh, bug is that I haven't uh, defined implementation before uh, into response okay so there is one more problem and okay so the T is a typo so let's fix that as well now we need to insert this active model inside the database for that we'll do dot insert and then give the database variable and we will await it After awaiting it we will unwrap it we don't really need to unwrap that because we won't be using it the data from this uh, but let's do that anyways and let's store it in a variable as well we won't use it but let's just store it okay finally we need to return something to return will give us status code that is accepted and a string let's say inserted now to create a route for this method so let's copy the route we have created above and just add a slash insert at the end and change the method now we are good to go we should be able to get the uh, data inserted into the database so let's run this project and try it out in postman So as you can see we are getting inserted let's go to pg admin and check here as well and as you can see we have our user here we'll be doing more crud operations in upcoming videos so that was all for this video in future we are planning to release in another series on uh, data structure and algorithms and also an interview preparation so please stay tuned for that and also like this video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe.